Hello everyone, it's Enigma here, and today, whoa, it's that time again, guys, it's that time again, it's finally time, finally, that we're getting another Nintendo Direct, finally we're getting a Nintendo Direct, it says, tune in for roughly 35 minutes of information on upcoming Nintendo Switch titles, including new details on Fire Emblem Three Houses, yes, so, yes, we're finally getting a Nintendo Direct, it's been so long since our last, like, actual normal Nintendo Direct, it's been, like, since September, that we've actually had a a full-blown Nintendo Direct, um, and, you know, it's just, I uh, I'm so excited, man, I'm so excited, this week is gonna be fun, I can't wait to talk about it, and that's why today I'm going to be talking about my predictions for the new Nintendo Direct that's gonna be going on tomorrow. Now, this is 35 minutes, so I have a good chunk of things here that I think they could show off to make up for the 35 minutes of the showing. Um, however, before I get on to my predictions, there's actually a little backstory with, uh, this whole Direct and its speculation and stuff like that. So, over on Reset Era, there is a user by the name of King Zell. Um, and this guy is actually a pretty credible leaker. Um, he's predicted stuff like Pokemon Let's Go and Eevee, uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, that's what I meant to say. And he's also predicted other things that I can't remember, but he's, he's a pretty credible leaker. And he came out and said that, he said this, 13 is your lucky number and I am out. Um, a lot of people didn't really know what that was at first. A lot of people just were saying it's probably a Nintendo Direct, since he is a Nintendo leaker. Um, but no one really knew for sure what he meant. But then once he s was stating new games that are coming for Nintendo, yeah, people started to think that this is going to be the Nintendo Direct date. So a lot of people were thinking it's going to be February 13th or February 14th. And it turns out, we're getting one tomorrow. Now, the games that he predicted, I'm going to go on, like, I'm going to not talk about them, but when I get to the games that he predicted, I will talk about them, because I have some of the games that he predicted on here, since I do think he's credible, um, but yeah, let's just get right into this. I can't wait to start my predictions. It's going to be a lot of hype, for sure. All right. My first prediction, and this isn't really a prediction, it's basically c confirmed that it's going to be at the Direct, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Like I read, Nintendo said tune in for roughly 35 minutes on information of um, upcoming Nintendo Switch titles, including new details on Fire Emblem Three Houses. So obviously this is going to be a Fire Emblem Three Houses Direct. Uh, well, not really a Fire Emblem Three Houses Direct, but it's going to be mainly Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, they probably have a lot more to show off for this game. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, I'm not really a huge Fire Emblem guy, to be honest. Um, you guys should know that, but... I do understand the appeal for the series. I do understand if you are hyped. Um, it's just that I'm not really a huge JRPG guy, so I'm not really too hyped for uh, Fire Emblem or Fire Emblem in general. But if you guys are, that's totally fine, and I do understand the appeal because, again, it's a JRPG. Um, my second prediction... Joker gameplay for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, I think it's time, you know, it's been a while, and they really do need to show off uh, Joker, I think we will be getting a reveal and, and a release date, I think we will be getting Joker on, I think we're going to be getting Joker on February 15th, now the reason why I say that is because, um, that's basically a Friday. Nintendo always releases things on Fridays. I just think that makes a whole lot of sense if they re release Joker then. So, I think we will be getting him on Friday. Um, and I can't wait because Joker's going to be a lot of fun to play as in Smash. I have another Smash prediction later on in the list. And I think it's going to be the last thing that's shown off. But we'll get there when we get there. Next. Super Mario Maker 2.0. Now, this is one of the games that uh, King Zell has said. And I just think it's about time for Super Mario Maker 
Super Mario Maker is one of, if not the best Wii U game. It's my personal favorite Wii U game. I've had so much fun playing Super Mario Maker and just creating my own levels. That's been something I've always wanted to do from the Mario series, and you can basically uh, live that dream in Super Mario Maker. But I, it's just... um. I don't really know how it would work on Switch, because in that game, you use the touchscreen for a lot of things in that game. So I I don't know how they would work it, but I'm pretty sure Nintendo will find a way to work it. I mean, after all, Captain Toad mainly used the gamepad and stuff, but yet it, it was um, but yet it was made for the Switch, so they can easily do that with Mario Maker. I just really hope Mario Maker comes to Switch. It's definitely one of the best Wii U games. It's definitely my personal favorite Wii U game. Um, I've just had so much fun with the game. Um, next up, new 2D Zelda game. Um, this is another game that King Zelda said, and I think it I think it's time. You know, it's been a while since a new 2D Zelda game. A lot of people bring up the point that Breath of the Wild wasn't too long ago, but you gotta remember 2D Zelda and 3D Zelda are completely different. Um, and, and considering the fact that we had another uh, 2D Mario game last year, um, it basically means that, you know, it could always be time for another 2D Zelda. Um, again, that... 2D Mario game was a port, but still, they still had a Mario game. So, I think they could, you know, have a 2D Zelda game as well. Um, I, I, I don't know. I'm not a really huge Zelda guy, so I don't know what they would do, but I'm pretty sure they will do something interesting with the game. Um, next up, Box Boy. Yet another King Zelda prediction. Uh, this is a game I don't know anything about, um, but I'm only saying it because King Zelda said it, and I just think it makes a whole lot of sense. It's been a while since the last Box Boy, and, you know, it could be a nice little indie game that they show off, because I've heard that the Box Boy games are actually pretty huge, so I think they could add, uh, Box Boy in, uh, uh, into this Direct. I think it would make a lot of sense. Um, next up. Uh, a Pikmin 3 port. Now, this this doesn't come from King Zell, but this comes more so from Emily Rogers, which is another credible uh, credible Nintendo leaker, because uh, she leaked uh, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate last year, and that was true. So, I think she's also pretty credible. Um, and, and don't worry, this is the last game that's based off of leaks. Um... People are going to be so upset with this, but I think it actually might be happening. Pikmin 3 port. Now, Emily Rogers said that we would be getting a Wii U port that's from a 2013 game. Pikmin 3 is a 2013 game, and I'm losing hope in Pikmin 4. Miyamoto has teased this game a lot, and but there's been no evidence that it's... In Nintendo's radar at all. Um, you know, like, yeah, Miyamoto has said some things about the game, but we've had, we haven't seen anything. And he's been saying this for like, I don't know, five years? We haven't seen anything about Pikmin 4, and I'm losing hope. Like, maybe they, maybe Pikmin 4 took a more Metroid Prime 4, uh, type of way, and they restarted development, because it's been so long since we've heard anything about Pikmin 4, so maybe for the time being, they might just give us Pikmin 3 instead. Trust me, I wouldn't want an old Wii U game that I've played years ago on my Switch, because I really want a Pikmin 4, but at this point, I could actually see Nintendo doing this, because Pikmin 4 is just taking way too long, um, and I, I just find it very suspicious how we've had no, like, nothing shown about this game besides Miyamoto just teasing it a little. And besides, the same thing happened with Pikmin 3. Um, uh, Miyamoto has been teasing Pikmin 3 constantly uh, for years, but then they would just never show it off. And we just thought that, you know, maybe it's just mistranslation or just, you know, false information. Like, I don't know, but Miyamoto, like, he teases stuff, but he doesn't show it off until, like, a long time. So I don't know what's going on with the development of Pikmin 4. We do know Pikmin 4 is coming, but we haven't seen anything. And at this point, I'm losing hope in, you know, Pikmin 4. And at this point, I think we're 
more likely to see a Pikmin 3 port. Again, I would love to be wrong, but I, I, I just, I mean, Pikmin 3 is a 2013 game, it's on the Wii U, and Pikmin 4, we already know what's coming, but it's been taking way too long, so I think Nintendo would release a port of Pikmin 3 to keep us, you know, to keep us from waiting, so we can enjoy Pikmin 3 on the Switch and on the go. I don't know, but... I think we are likely to see a Pikmin 3 port. I know a lot of people will be disappointed at that, but I just think that's really likely. Um, next up, Animal Crossing Switch reveal and gameplay. I think we're going to be getting a release date. Um, now, the release dates for Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion 3, which, by the way, Luigi's Mansion 3 is next up on my list. Um, these games actually got their release date release dates leaked. Um I think Animal Crossing, I think it said something like in No. Damon X Machina got um their release date leaked. I think it was like April twenty seventh, I think. Um and I did not add Damon X Machina. I keep forgetting that game exists. But yeah, Damon X Machina I think will be shown off in this direct. I'll just I, I just added it to the list. Um but Back to the point of Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion 3. Animal Crossing, I don't think they got their release dates leaked yet, but I think we will be getting its release date in the direct. Luigi's Mansion 3 is said that it will be coming out July 19th. I'm excited. You know, I really love Luigi's Mansion and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I know that's a pretty controversial opinion, but I liked both of those games. And, you know, I can't wait for Luigi's Mansion 3. Whether it's a more open game like Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube or mission-based like Dark Moon, I don't care. I'm still excited for Luigi's Mansion 3. I think we will be getting a name for the game, um, and I think it will be shown off in this Direct, of course. They gotta show, show it off. Um, and yeah, and I think it will re reveal the release date as well. Um, Animal Crossing, yeah, a gameplay and a release date. That's basically what I have to say about Animal Crossing and Luigi's Mansion 3. 10, I have some ports. Now, a lot of people have been hinting that there's going to be, like, big ports uh, from third-party, you know, uh, developers coming out this year. Um, and here's... I have four things listed, but I think there could be more. Um, but I have four things that really come to mind when thinking of ports that could come to the Switch uh, from third-party developers. Uh, one, Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I think that's definitely likely. Um, there was, like, this whole leak that listed Spyro coming to the Switch recently, so I think it is coming. And it, and besides, it makes sense, because the Crash Trilogy is on the Switch. You might as well add Spyro as well. Kingdom Hearts 3. A lot of people say Kingdom Hearts 3 wouldn't work on the Switch, but I beg to differ. Dragon Quest XI uses the same engine as Kingdom Hearts 3, and Dragon Quest XI still works on the Switch, so I don't think that's a, that's an excuse. I think Kingdom Hearts 3 can definitely come to the Switch, for sure. Resident Evil 2 Remake, I think that's definitely possible. Um, you know, there's, I think that was also hinted at it coming to the Switch. Um, it's just a matter on when, and I think tomorrow is when we'll get that announcement. Le the last thing I have listed is an indie game, but it's a pretty huge indie game, Deltarune. I mean, there are Undertale is on the Switch, you might as well add Deltarune as well. I mean, it's the sequel, so Undertale just makes a whole lot of sense. Overall, I do like this lineup of third-party uh, titles, especially Spyro and Kingdom Hearts 3, because, man, if I could play those on the Switch, that would be pretty freaking lit. Um, but yeah, overall, I think this is a good list of third-party games that we could see tomorrow, um, but let's just wait and see. Um, next up, SNES games on the Switch Online. I think I think it's definitely possible. This is not wishful thinking. Um, there was this whole data mine that listed a bunch of SNES games that um for the Switch Online, and yeah, there's no way you can fake a data mine. So I definitely think that is coming eventually, and I think we will get some details on that tomorrow. Um, I, uh, like Super Mario Kart coming to the you know Switch. Uh, Super Mario World, I definitely think that could happen. You know, I just think those games definitely are coming to the Switch, and I can't wait. I, mean, I really just I really just don't want to just play NES games. I want SNES games, and SNES games would be enough for me to buy the online. 
Like, if SNES games are coming, mark my words, I definitely will be getting the online. Because there actually is a lot of really cool SNES games that I would want to play on my Switch. Um, so, definitely, I would definitely love to, you know, SNES games on the Switch online. And that's why I definitely think we'll be getting revealed tomorrow. And the last thing is the Smash thing. Um, now, some people might say that, um... Uh, that the Direct will mostly be focused on Fire Emblem, so a lot of people might think that, you know, that some people might think that Fire Emblem, you know, like, that we might get, like, something Fire Emblem at the end, but that's not always the case. The March Direct last year said that it would mostly be focused on Mario Tennis Aces, but it was instead, but the last thing they showed off was a Smash reveal, so anything is possible, and I definitely think that we are gonna be getting a new Smash character revealed. I mean, of course, come on. Nintendo wouldn't just leave that out. Um, as for who it is, I gotta say Erdrick. There's a lot of evidence pointing to Erdrick coming to the game. He makes a whole lot of sense. Hell Laboratories director posted a picture of Erdrick's shield and named it the Brave Shield. And if you guys know about the data mine, the data mine said Brave. Brave is probably Erdrick. Erdrick's probably going to be coming to the game, and he's probably going to be revealed tomorrow. Um, but some people might be like, well, who do you, who else do you think could possibly get revealed tomorrow? Another, um, another idea is probably Edelgard, because, again, Nintendo said that they are mainly going to focus on Fire Emblem, this Direct, so I think they could top that off with Edelgard and Smash, but I kind of doubt it since... I think most of these, I think these characters are going to be third-party characters, um, and I just think Urgic makes a whole lot of sense. I definitely see him coming to the game. Um, but yeah, other characters, probably Banjo and Kazooie, but I think he's more so an E3 reveal. Um, other than that, I really don't know. Urgic just makes the most amount of sense to me, and I definitely think that's going to be the character we're going to be sh getting shown off tomorrow. I really wish it was Crash or Sora, but it looks more so Urgic, but hey, Crash could still have his chance. I really want Crash and Smash, please make it happen. Uh, but yeah, anyways, um, that's basically my predictions. That's basically all I have. So basically, um... What do you guys think will be getting shown off tomorrow? Let me know in the comments down below, and I would love to hear it. Anyways, this has been Enigma, and peace. See you next time. Nintendo Direct Hype! See you guys later.